Alright guys, so this is a help video for your uh, chapter 2 uh, test coming up tomorrow. So this is chapter 2. Okay, so I want to put up here a couple of the equations that we're going to use, especially especially this time, right? So right, so basic speed equations are going to be on this test. And so I'll just go ahead and take the first one, just because it's easy to get to. Right, so in this case, I want to know how fast are they running. Okay, so basically what I want to know is speed or velocity. Okay, either one of those two. Because remember that speed and velocity are the same thing, just velocity has direction and speed does not. Okay, so we start off with this problem. I always try to put boxes around my numbers. Okay, so that way I know what I'm looking for. Okay, so I know the equation. Right, I want to find out that speed is equal to distance over time. Okay, so in this case, they went 100 meters divided by 20 seconds. Okay, so I want to know how many meters per second. So then I would take 100 and divide it by 20, because 20 goes into 100 five times. Okay, so that means it's equal to 5 meters per second. Okay, so that is its, its speed. Okay, so uh, another uh, equation that you might uh, run into so um, would be this guy. I kind of picked him just because he's a good example of... Uh, I actually made a mistake in this one, so I figured this would be a good one to show you guys. Okay, so a bus slams on his brakes, and he goes from 30 kilometers per hour to 15 kilometers an hour. Okay, so... Meaning, okay, we're going to go from here, so it's V initial, okay, and so in four seconds. Okay, so if I go back here is my equation okay so I want to know the change change in velocity is equal to right V's final velocity minus V's initial velocity or starting velocity okay so meaning if we go back to this particular problem right so their final velocity is going to be 15 kilometers per hour so then I'm just going to substitute here. So change in velocity is equal to V final, okay, which is 15 kilometers per hour minus 30 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's H. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be a difference of 15, negative 15 kilometers per hour. Okay, so, and it makes sense, right, because the bus slams on its brakes, so he's slowing down, so your answer should be negative because you're, you're going slower. Okay, so remember, vector quantities are always going to be, in this case, we're slowing down. Okay, and now if he was speeding up, it would be a positive number, but in this case, it's going to be a negative number. All right, guys, and a uh, second thing that's going to be on your guys' quiz okay, is, of course, your um, free fall. Okay, so in this case, this one is the one talking about velocity. And when we talk about velocity, we're talking about um, a, cha a change in speed. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Minor issue there. That was nice. There you gotta go. Right, so we're talking about velocity. Okay, and so remember that um, when things are falling, okay, so if we take a, take a rock and it starts to fall down, okay, so it's going to be accelerating at negative 10 meters per second. Okay, that's also our gravitational constant. Okay, so as objects fall, basically it's basi just going to be, right, uh, gravitational constant is 10, so basically your equation, okay, so its velocity, if it's falling, is going to be negative 10 times time. Okay, so meaning if I drop a uh, minor thing, Sorry about that. Lights turn off on me. Right, so meaning if I drop an object for five seconds, okay, so if I want to know how far did it fall, how fast was it going after five seconds, we'll say. Okay, so basically I would just take negative 10 times 5. Okay, so in this case it would be negative 50 meters per second. Okay, and so whatever, right, when we're talking speed, Okay, basically it's going to be acceleration times time. 
okay so that's going to be our change in velocity it's always going to be acceleration times time when you're talking about free falling objects then the change in acceleration all right, our change in velocity will be g times t okay so as long as it's falling straight down Okay, so not only are we talking about speed, so basically this is how fast. Okay, how fast is it falling? Okay, that is this. How fast? But your second question should be then how far? Okay, so how far is it falling? Okay, so if I take that same rock and I let it fall, and I let it fall for five seconds, right? I want to know if I take a Take, I want to know how tall something is. So like if I have this big building right over here and I don't quite know how tall it is. Okay, so I have my friend go up there and he, all right, he takes a rock and drops the rock and that falls. And we'll say it falls for five seconds. Okay, so starting from here, okay, I want to know how far, has, how far is it actually falling. I, I don't know how far, but I know how long. Okay, so now I remember this equation, right, distance is equal to one-half the gravitational constant times time squared. Okay, that's basically how, how far. Now, with this equation, I've omitted the previous part just because there's no speed that it started at. Okay, so right, this is my equation I'm going to work from. Okay, so I say I want to know distance is equal to half of 10, because okay, remember my gravitational constant is just 10, 10 meters per second. So half of 10 is just 5 times 5 squared. Okay, so remember uh, order of operations, you want to square first. Okay, so 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, 25 times 5 is 25, 25, 27, 10, 12. So it would be 125 meters if it fell for 5 seconds. Okay, so that can tell me how far. Because all I did was I took one half the gravitational constant, which is gravi which is 10. So basically it's 5 times 5 squared, because 5 was my number of seconds. That's it squared. Okay, so if I work this down, d is equal to 5 times time squared. Then is equal to 5 times 5 squared. Remember, order of operations, you do this first, then this. Okay, and you end up with d is equal to 125 meters. Okay, so that is how far. How far. Okay. Alright guys, so the last thing on our test, this was the, this was the little booger that, that gave us a little bit of difficulty, but um, so this is going to be the last part of it. Okay, so um, for this one, so um, hopefully you guys still have these. So, um, right, so when we're dealing with things that are have an initial velocity, Okay, we always have to put the V sub naught. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do a couple of these. So we'll start off with our equation. Okay, so distance is equal to V sub naught times time minus one half gravitational constant times time squared. Okay, so meaning when I go here, so for this particular diagram, right? So we want to know how far did this first distance go. So I want to know from here to here. Okay, so I know that its velocity falls at 10 meters per second because the force of gravity is pulling it back down. Okay, so, um, right, so I want to know, so in this case, I want to know after one second. One second. Okay, so in this case, I want to know the distance. If in this case, or it's, uh, its velocity at that point is going to be 20 meters per second times time, which is 1, so we multiply those together, minus 1 half g times 1 squared. Eight. Okay, now, in this case, right, because the gravitational constant is not negative because it's going upward, so we're going to make this positive, okay, because it's traveling upwards instead of down, downwards. On the other side, we're going to have a negative velocity, so that means this is going to be negative. Okay, so in this case, we have 20 times 1 is 20, plus 5 times 1 squared, which is just 1. Okay, so you end up with 25. Okay, 
So, oh, you want to know? It's 24.